few months ago I was working on a beat and FL decided to give up on me. With every button I touched, FL crashed and I just didn't know what to do or how to fix it. Now the big issue here was that I only had 2 hours left to finish the beat. And at the rate I was going, that was never gonna happen. My computer was pushing harder than ever before and it almost sounded like a 90s Honda Civic with a rusted exhaust pipe. I had to come up with a solution really fast and I kept looking what was wrong with my computer. Then suddenly I only had one hour left and I kinda started to panic. Well it's a good thing I didn't give up because I found the issue and today I will share some of the best tricks to make FL Studio run as fast as a horse. First we need to go through the basic settings, otherwise the other tricks in this video don't make any sense. Open up a file and go to the options menu. Then click audio settings. For the input slash output device, you should always have an ASIO driver enabled. ASIO drivers give you really high audio quality but with really low latency. The driver is responsible for a really good connection between FL Studio and your sound card. If your CPU meter is always running close to 100, you should definitely enable triple buffer. This will give the CPU much more time to process the audio signals, which means no pops and clicks. But keep in mind, there will be a little bit of latency when you're playing on a MIDI keyboard for example. Next, head over to the CPU settings. Enable multi-threaded processing for generators like synths and oscillators. And do the same for the mixer. This way FL uses multiple cores of your processor instead of putting all the stress on one core. This will always improve your CPU performance because I don't think that people use single core processors anymore. Smart Disable will turn off plugins you're not using. This will work really well on bigger projects. Here you can lower the resampling quality which will relieve some of the stress on the CPU's shoulders. The recommended resampling quality is 24, but if you're still having a lot of trouble, you can set it to 16 if necessary. Go to the general tab and set the animations to don't distract me. This removes all the unnecessary animations that you actually don't need. Next trick will definitely save your life, especially if you're using heavy plugins like Omnisphere or Serum. Open up the plugin settings and head over to the processing tab. Select allow threaded processing and allow smart disable. If you're working on bigger projects, you sometimes have a lot of unused samples, loops, or audio clips and you can delete them all with one setting. Head over to tools, macros and then click purge unused audio clips. This won't directly impact your CPU but it will free up some of your RAM memory. Next one is a trick that you just can't live without and that is dropping a like on this video. No, just kidding. When you have five or six melodies and you want to put a light reverb on them, you need to add reverb to the mixer tracks, right? No, please don't stop, st stop it. Don't do it. What you want to do instead is take another mixer track and call it reverb. Perhaps give it a nice color. Open up the reverb effect and put the dry signal to zero and the wet signal to 100. Now you can adjust the reverb to your liking and then close it up. Now send the first melody track to the reverb. You can adjust the amount that you want for that instrument with this mix knob. Do the same for all your mixers and now you only need one reverb instead of five. So I was saying I only had one hour left to finish this beat. And this final trick is the one that saved me from not delivering on time. When using heavy plug export your melodies and disable the VSTs in the channel rack. This will save you so much CPU, RAM and time. If you do need to adjust your melody, adjust the MIDI in the piano roll and export them again. Now you can have the best PC in the world and still struggle with finishing beats. I mean, how many unfinished beats do you have on your computer? Click here to find out how to fix that because I actually made a video about that. <clears throat> Gotta go now. Goodbye.